it's again an opinion so it's subjective i think the tvs are not that bad are they fun Please. All right, guys. So um, I kind of want to. Um, I'm about to cut the stream, but before that, I do want to give my thoughts on the game so far. I've been playing it between 10 and 15 hours. I, I don't know how much exactly. I did play a little bit of stream, so I'm not exactly sure what the number is. But I just really want to give my honest opinion, my first impressions on the game. I've been playing for a little bit of time. Some people would say it's enough. Some people say it's not enough to give an impression. Uh, first and foremost, when it comes to judging, how much do you have to play the game to be able to judge the game? I think it's very subjective. I think if you are a journalist, if you are a game reviewer and you want to give the full spectrum of what the game experience is, yes, you probably do have to play. If it's a, a solo game, if it's not a live service game, you probably have to play the entire game. Uh, or otherwise you have to reach like you have to have tried at least all of the content I would say not finished all of the content, but at least get a pretty good idea So we say for get your game you probably need to put like 30 40 hours into the game something like that But this is when it comes to review when it comes to your personal preferences what you enjoy So what is an opinion? I think it's fine to give your impression after three hours, after two hours of gameplay. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It's fine. Everybody is... Everybody can have their own opinion and they can decide how they want to spend the time. And I think that's valid. Now, I think wanting to enforce your opinion on other people is when it's just a bit weird. Um, I think the game is overhated. I think the game is not perfect, obviously, but right now, because there's a lot of people kind of shitting on the game, I think a lot of people are jumping into the bandwagon and just enjoying, like, criticizing the game because it's the cool thing to do. Uh -huh. Right now, being hateful of this game is very incentivized. Uh-huh. And I think people are doing it way too early. Uh, and that always kind of happen. Um, so, yeah. With all of that out of the way, let's get into what I think of the games. So, first and foremost, because it's right here, uh, I'm going to be talking about the UI. I think the UI overall is fine. Uh, there's a lot of people complaining about the um, the menu, the which I'm in right now. I think it does look bad. I think it looks pretty good. I really like the fact that you can have your favorite character up there. You can unlock the other characters to be here in the future. I think that's great. Uh, for people out there that love the waifus, you can put your waifu in here or your Esbando, whatever. I think it's fine. I don't think the menu has to be super small or like everything has to be ugly but shown on the screen. I think this is a fine. It's a fine mix between beautiful and minimalistic. I can understand that it's a bit annoying that it's like a more tab. Personally, it's not a problem for me whatsoever. Now, that say sometimes I do feel like um, I'm struggling a little bit to get from point A to point B when it comes to like navigating the menu But honestly, I think this is just a case of not being used to it uh, And I don't think that's that much of a big deal. Honestly, it, that's it just happens with new games I'll get there eventually and uh, yeah, that's it. So the UI When it comes to the menus, I think it's fine now There is a little thing I would like to criticize when it comes to gameplay is that the, the character health bar for your your team are in the top left corner and they're pretty small and i know it's a small detail and it's probably not issue an issue on phone but when you're playing on pc it's really out of the way and sometimes while it hasn't happened to me yet it's sometimes kind of hard to keep a track of how much hp your character have and i've heard some people saying that uh, sometimes they realize they're low hp while they were like just mashing buttons and i could see that happen i do think that your hp bar being out of the way um, might be a bit counterproductive to uh, knowing how low, like, if you're in danger or not. Uh, so I feel like this could potentially be improved in the future um, or change. I don't know, maybe you can have some uh, different um, UI option or the, the chance to um, change the, the size of it. Um, I do think that like a game like Genshin, which just has the, the health bar like in the middle of the screen at the bottom, makes it very easy to to situate and to have a, a good idea as to how healthy you are or not. And uh, yeah, I don't think it's a big gripe or anything, but that's just something I kind of noticed uh, today when I was playing. I was like, 
I don't know, like, because I took a few hits, I was like, am I low HP? I don't know. And I, I had to look for the health bar and I was like, oh, okay, now I'm good. Um, so, yeah. Now, uh, since I was talking about the HP, let's talk about the combat. I think the combat is very nice. Um, I think the effect, whether it is um, special effect or sound effect, I think they are good. Um, I wasn't sure at first because I was uh, I, I was like maybe it's a bit underwhelming when it comes to the parry and the dodge, but actually after playing it a little bit more today, um, I think they're good. I think they're good. I think they feel satisfying. I really like the, the, the parry assists that you get from your teammates. I think that's really, really cool. The game feels incredibly fast paced, even when you get hit, the fact that you can like repose with an ally, feels like you're always playing, it's very fluid, it feels nice. Now, I'm still early in the game, I still most people are still relatively early in the game. And what I can say is that there is no challenge in the game. Um, albeit, I am playing in quote-unquote casual mode. I didn't pick the, the challenge mode because the challenge mode doesn't give you more reward. And just makes the enemies have more HP. And I don't think this is a good way to have difficulty. HP sponges are just not that interesting, so I just wanted to have a more... Um, a more uh, consistent and just fluid experience, basically, especially when it comes to streaming. Uh, so that's my opinion. The game is easy, um, and I don't think the game is gonna be hard at any point. I think it's gonna be like Genshin, um, and yeah, that's it. So um, I understand that like people, because the game was talked about like combat focus, etc. I think a lot of people thought that it was going to be a quote-unquote hardcore game or very challenging uh, and it is neither by the way for comparison sakes I don't think that a watering wave like watering wave is a hardcore game I think it does have some amount of challenge but keep in mind that most challenge we're doing is like with a massive level gap um, like fighting level 90 or 100 enemies when you're level 60 70 maybe even 80 I don't think is um, it's not the normal experience, okay? It's essentially just giving yourself a disadvantage. So I don't think this is fair to call it hardcore because of that. Um, so yeah, that's just my, my point of view. I think all of the gacha games, at the end of the day, they are meant to be casually experienced. Uh, some of them can have a bit more challenge, etc. Some people will say what doing great, some people will say PGR and whatnot. But I think they are meant to be played fast on the go. Uh, whenever you have a little bit of time. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think it's a problem that the game is casual. I don't think, because that's just what it's meant to be. I don't think it's a problem that it's not, quote-unquote, a main game. I think no gacha games are meant to be main games. Most people who have one main game as a gacha game tend to lose their goddamn mind and be miserable <laughs> after years of doing that. Which is kind of why I'm happy to play multiple gacha games and be able to quickly switch between them whenever I feel like it. Um, like, I main gacha games, but I don't main one gacha game. And I think that's an important distinction. I think it's important to go at it this way. But that's just for me. Maybe it's not the case for everybody else. Uh, but that helps me, like, not lose my mind, just run around doing nothing and picking me, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, now, outside of the combat, um, I think the aesthetic of the game is absolutely fantastic. I think it looks great. I love the um, the urban fantasy aspect of it, right? The, the high tech urban. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Jet Set Radio. Uh, the comparison has probably been made over and over again at this point. Um, but yeah, I think the the character looks great. The architecture looks great. Um, I think a lot of the characters look really, really good. Uh, I know some people say that the 5 star don't look like 5 star. Uh, that's very subjective and, you know, if you don't like the character design, I think that's perfectly valid. At the end of the day, Jesus, um, you have to enjoy the game, right? Like, nobody's gonna force you to play a game you don't enjoy. And uh, because gacha games tend to be about collecting waifus and bandos, if you don't like the look of the characters, and I say waifu and bandos here, but I don't mean that every single person has to like feel that way about their characters. It's about collecting characters. 
Um, and if you don't like the aesthetic and the design of the characters, that's perfectly fine. Um, there's a lot of young character in this game and some anthropomorphic uh, characters. And uh, if that's not your cup of tea, I think that's perfectly fine. Um, I think it's a bit weird that people are saying that characters being young is uh, strange or sus or whatever, or that there are just furries. So if you play this game, if you like this game, you're just uh, like a, a pedo or a furry. I think that's just outrageous, obviously. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. From someone who plays a lot of gachas and someone who plays a lot of JRPG, that's kind of normal. Like, when you play Persona 5, all the characters are kids. <laughs> I don't know, like, they're teenagers, but that's not much better. Uh, I think the aesthetic, the art direction, does maybe make them look younger. And I'm talking about the characters in general, okay? When you look at Corin and characters like that, obviously they're kids. Uh, is that a big deal? No. Is it only like that? Also no. Like, the, a lot of the adult women and men look great, I think. And they look way more manly than in other uh, Hoyoverse games as well. Which uh, I think not a lot of people have been talking about that. Because um, in Genshin Impact, for example, all the men, they look very effeminate. Uh, they're not really, like, bulky or anything. And in this game, there's a lot of variety when it comes to body type. Um, and just... Yeah, type of character in general, right? We got a fucking huge bear, for God's sakes. So I think this is really cool. Um, and if you don't like it, that's fine. Because, you know, like, just play a game where you love the characters there. Um, that's perfectly reasonable. But let's not pretend that if you like the character, it means that you're, like, the range or something. Uh, it's just not the case. Sometimes something can just be cute. Uh, and that's what it is. Talking about cute... I think the bang boos are absolutely fantastic. I love them. To me, they carry the game so hard. This is what makes me so happy. Every time I see a bang boo, I squeal. They are adorable. They are the best thing ever. I will take bang boos over echoes from Wuthering Waves any time of the day. I think the echoes are cool, but the bang boos are cute. And I'll take cute over cool any day. They just go... And I'm just like... It's great. I, I love the bang boo. They're super cute. I love seeing them fight. I love seeing them like just wobble around. It's awesome. Um, now, when it comes to the game itself, when it comes to the, 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 the features of the gameplay, uh, outside of like just the combat and the design and stuff like that, uh, I think the, the, the way you spend your stamina is what I meant to say. Uh, so far, uh, I got to level 20, so I get to farm for higher level resources. I think it's fine. I think it's fast. I really like the fact that you can really like customize how many enemies you're going to be fighting. So you can decide what resources you're going for. I think that's great. Um, the game mode, the kind of like simulated universe uh, gameplay is pretty fun so far. Um, yeah, I think the combat is great. Now we can talk about the TVs. Uh, the problem with the TVs, uh, people hate the TVs. People absolutely detest the TVs. And I think um, it was way worse in CPT 1 and 2. Uh, and people have been clowning on the TV since then. And I think people just already decided the TVs are bad. And they will never change their stance. And so they're just clowning on the game. I think, realistically speaking, or at least, I guess, it's again an opinion, so it's subjective. I think the TVs are not that bad. Are they fun? Not really. Um, it doesn't feel like a chore, but it's not like the most fun part of the game. I do want to get to the combat. Uh, the faster that you can, like, kind of speed through them with the, the faster mode is nice. Um, I'm not a big fan, but every now and then it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, I don't think they're, like, ruining the game. But they're definitely not my favorite part. I'll just put it this way. Um, yeah. I think the, the banners and the, the character, like, enhancement is the same as in any other gadget games. Um, well, at least MiHoYo games, right? Uh, the banners are fine. Uh, I, I think we're at the point, like, nobody's doing better than Core Game when it comes to the weapon banner, where it's, like, 100%. And, um... Yeah, I, I'm still not a big fan of the 50-50 character banner. 
I'm still not a big fan of 50-50 with 75-25% on the banner. I want the weapon banner to be 100% because it just feels fucking terrible. That's just how it is. Uh, and I think now that we've had better, it's really tough to go back to having terrible. On the bright side, it's not the horrendous state of the epitomized past from Genshin Impact, so that's a plus, I guess. Uh, the Bainboo being 100%, that's great. It kind of reminds me of the Cub system for PGR, and that's awesome. I love them. I'm happy to be able to pull guaranteed my Shark Boo because he's so fucking cute. Uh, so that's great. When it comes to story, uh, I've done the first part of Soldier 11 story, and I think it is... It seems to be focused on the character. We get to see how she is, how she acts. Um, it's a bit more straightforward, so you feel less bad in Genshin Impact when you have to deal with like random NPCs and walk around and do what they want to, you to do. And it seems like the, the character themselves, which is their story quest, is just along for the ride. And here it's way more focused on the character itself. Uh, so it's nice to discover how dork Soldier 11 is. I did not expect that, so that's pretty cool. Um, and now, when I want to talk about presentation when it comes to story, I think it kind of depends. Um, I think in some places it does way better than other gachas. In some places, I think I'm a little bit underwhelmed. So what I really like is when you have... Obviously, the cinematics are amazing. I love them. I saw the cinematic with Miyabi. It was peak. If it's not there yet, I'm not going to spoil you, but it's a good time. Um, and there's also when it's like in comic format, the art is just amazing and it feels so good to go through it. It's really, really good. It's just like a comic. It's fantastic. You get the, the voice lines, etc, etc. The voice acting is fantastic as always. Mihoyo does not miss with those. Some voices I like less. Uh, personally, I play in Japanese, so I don't have as much issues because some English tends to grate me a little bit more. Like Coletta's voice in English is a bit more annoying to me. It's too raspy and I don't really like it. It's not a attack on the voice actress. It's just a direction for it. They wanted this type of voice. It's not the type of voice I like. The end. Now, um, the part I don't really like is that when you just have the character talk to each other and it's like a panel. So you have like one panel, two panel, three panel. It's like the, the screen divides and you see the 3D model of each character talking to each other and like they're front facing like a visual novel and I think the problem with this um, is that first of all it's boring there's no camera movement you just see the characters going back and forth and um, it, it's not cinematic at all essentially right there, there's no direction there it's just the character not moving and speaking there's no emotion on their faces there's no there's like no animation whatsoever and you just have the characters talking back and forth and it's kind of boring not gonna lie uh, that part's kind of annoying, and the thing is like, yeah, you can clown on Genshin Impact as much as you want, and on Star Rail and whatever if you don't like those games, or even Wuthering and Weights. But it's when they're talking to each other, um, they've been working on the camera, right, with the angle uh, changing, the panning, and not even talking about animation where you like see Paimon teleporting and stuff like that, which I think is very good actually, even if you don't like Paimon, I think this part of it is pretty good in the most recent patches. But at least you do have some amount of dynamism to the scenes so when you have those moments where you just see okay soldier 11 is on the left and then bell is on the right and they're just talking front facing you and there's just like nothing happening it feels a bit boring it feels a bit bland and i can understand why some people are saying that the game is very boring and that they are falling asleep in front of it because this aspect is very bad now this aspect is terrible but on the other side the comics do make it amazing when they happen. Unfortunately, they're kind of rare. And when we have the cinematic, which are also rare, it's also absolutely amazing. So there is very good and there is some bad. I don't think it's absolutely terrible and garbage, but it's just not the most enjoyable experience. So there it is. Um, overall, uh, I think the game is pretty good. I think it's pretty solid. I, I think it's geared toward maybe a younger audience. Um, but I think the most like all of the hate for it is mostly coming from the fact that Wooden Wave released before and I think a lot of people are fully in love with Wooden Waves and so I mean that's the impression I get right so because we have such a good combat experience in Wooden Wave that just blows every other game in the water at the moment in terms of action combat 
I think that going back to ZZZ with a combat system that's pretty like straightforward and difficulty being very, very easy, I think a lot of people just clown the game and say it's garbage and it's not what they're looking for, which you can understand. I think not every single game has to be for everybody and I think Hoyaverse is just trying to not necessarily have one person play all of their game, but have at least one person play what everyone play one of their games, right? So they don't necessarily want you to play all four of the games, they just want as many people to at least be part of their ecosystem, right? Um, so if this game is not for you, I think that's fine. I don't think they need or even want this game to be like their golden goose uh, or something. They just want it to probably like succeed at least a little bit. Uh, that gets themselves more revenue, maybe get a non-endemic um, public into uh, the gacha sphere or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's why they're gonna do like a uh, Animal Crossing game. That's probably what they're gonna do at MMO. They want to have a game that at least one per like more people are gonna come into to try those, right? Um, so if you don't like it, I think that's fine. Um, if it's just not for you, that's fine. And uh, yeah, I just think like the over hate for it is a bit out of control. Um, personally, my experience has been good. So far, I would probably rate it a... I know it's not high praise, but I would probably rate it a 6.5 out of 10, I would say. Uh, but that's also considering that I'm not super far into the game, right? This is my first impression and things are subjected to change. Um, and I'll let you know in a later video what um, if my opinion changed. Uh, but at the moment, it's been a very cool, chill, casual experience. I like the characters. The story is not groundbreaking, but I'm intrigued. Uh, I will also say, full disclosure, I'm someone who really enjoys lore, who really enjoy world building, storytelling. Um, and while, yes, gacha games tend to not have the most amazing story ever, um, I'm still quite invested in them especially when we have things that like relates to mihoyo loves to do a uh, hoyoverse story they love to do stuff like um tackling about uh mythology and uh different kinds of uh, you know mythology religions and uh, way of thinking um so like genshin with uh Gnosticism, um and this game with like a lot of greek mythology with eos um Edry do even and um, just like the name of the characters, ballad wise. Uh, obviously, the nickname Phaeton it means the uh, the the son of the sun, stuff like that. So there's a lot of correlation there, and I'm very looking forward to like what that's gonna happen in the future. I'm uh, I'm interested. Uh, I think I kind of covered everything I wanted to say. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. If you if there's some points I forgot to brought up, uh, to bring up stuff like that do let me know in the comments like subscribe all the good good I see you on the next one I'll be doing another um, quote unquote review later down the line right now this is my first impressions after approximately 15 to 20 hours of play uh, so yeah there it is I'll catch you on the next one bye.